So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the left hand traditional grip, moving the stick with the uh, thumb, index finger, middle finger, and uh, ring finger. And I go out and I just let the stick fall back. And that's really all it is. And I follow it at that point. So I'm able to do things like, uh, um, quite easily, as opposed to uh, when I studied with Jim Chapin, um, and I loved it, and I, I wouldn't trade the molar for anything because it was closed in. It closed in, I used to go, Jim, why are we doing doubles where we're squeezing the left hand? Now we're doing doubles where we're squeezing the left hand. Shouldn't we be staying outside? Wouldn't it make more sense to be out? So I go out, let the stick fall. So I'm, I'm really getting the stick to do what it wants to do. I go out, let the stick fall. So I'm, I'm really getting the stick to do what it wants to do. So if I just want to tap, as you saw in the video, I took the index finger up and I just used the thumb with the middle finger and ring finger and I tap. Then I used what I call a wiggle with the thumb, and I started to walk the stick down with twos. So I'll do the twos for you. So start out once I get it going. Yeah, and I just start moving the stick down, and then I walk it back with the wiggle. And I can just do a thumb wiggle too. You know, depending on what I'm trying to what, what I'm trying to play musically. Then I used what I call a wiggle with the thumb, and I started to walk the stick down with two, so I did the two for you, so I start out once I get it going. And I can also just do the uh, the walk without the wiggle. I can just take the thumb off the stick. And I can also just do the uh, the walk without the wiggle. I can just take the thumb off the stick. So groupings of like twos and threes become quite easy. So one two three one two 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 one
catching it with the thumb <coughs> or the index finger and middle finger and ring finger or thumb middle finger ring finger and taking the index finger off so I could get just a little more height. And I can use that also for accenting much easier than other uh, techniques that I have been using. It just opens up. It's really about opening out and allowing these things to come. from that to groups of four or five. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And I find coming under is uh, something that is much easier for me so I don't clamp down into the stick and close it up. I, I stay open that way when I come under, under the stick and out. And accents seem to be easier for me, so if I wanted to play like a clave, taking that index finger off, it's much easier for me to hit an accent. I can recuperate where I want to go, what I want to do. I can start walking the stick to get into a different tempo. Back to the clave. Or a two, three. See that start right there? If you come on top, it's not going to be as easy if you play. That's just out, motion, under, like that. That becomes your strong stroke, and the down stroke is the... the uh, uh, the, the less volume stroke. So more stroke on the up. So I'm getting out, out, out into the ether and I bring it back and do what I want with it. That's the key. So that's my stroke as opposed to, you know, the big down and then up. Thank you. 
But I think you lose a lot of you lose a lot of vitality when you're playing and you're, you're playing an accent you don't come from under. You try to come like over like this, and especially with a left hand ending. It's, I don't know. I used to see a lot of the old timers finish like this, and I never made any sense to me. You know, that's not how I see it, but. To end with a left hand, I'd want to go out. I want to go out with everything. I want to be going out, out. As I stated with the lessons with Jim Chapin, I would want to stay open and he'd want to close up. To get that sound all very relevant and important, but it just for me, staying open would allow me to do things like this. Stay open would allow me to do things like this. Staying open also allows me to go from uh, target to target and be gentler with how I go in because I'm going out. Right? Scooping up, going up and out. It just works so much nicer. That is it for today. See everyone real soon.